Have you ever seen a clamshell with a hole in it like this? Did you ever wonder how it got there? That's a pretty big one right there. Well, a lot of the clams that you find on the beach might have these holes in them. Even the little clams, that's got a pretty big hole for a little clam there. And even a mussel shell, look at this. I, that's pretty rare, I don't often find those, a mussel shell with a hole in it like that. And this one, interestingly, this clam shell has a hole right in the middle of the shell rather than at the end. Usually you see them at more at the end like this one. And if you really look at it, like that's a perfectly, like a perfectly drilled hole. And if you think there's someone out here drilling these holes, well, it's not a person. <laughs> it's actually a mollusk and it's called a moon snail moon snail and doesn't that look beautiful they're so pretty and they look so innocent and charming nice little snails this is you know has a beautiful pattern on it I have some other ones here that I'm gonna show you this one this is the most common kind that I find kind of this pearly white with a little a little pink around the top and you know what else they have that's interesting they have this thing a, it's a belly button they call it the umbilicus, but it's this little hole that's right by the edge of the shell there. Interesting thing about moon snails who that look innocent enough, here's a nice brown colored one. I really love this pattern. So I find all these different ones. And the largest ones that I've seen are actually maybe twice the size of this one. Sometimes they get pretty big. So the interesting thing about moon snails is that they eat mainly clams. And what they'll do is, you know that kind of fleshy foot that a snail uses to crawl, it'll let that out and it'll let it fill with water and it'll expand and it'll engulf a clam. And then inside of that foot, it has this kind of toothy probe that drills into the shell of the clam. And it also releases a little bit of acid to help with the drilling. And it might take three or four days for a moon snail to drill into the clam. By the way, it's drilling, that thing that it drills with is called a radula. And so it might take three or four days to get in, and then it'll continue to inject, inject that acid inside the clam and make kind of this mush inside there, and then maybe eat it for about a day or so. So innocent looking little creature doing that. Also, you know, if you had that foot sticking out all the time, that would be easy for other predators to eat. So the way that a moon snail protects itself is that over this part where the foot comes out, it has this little piece called the operculum. And the operculum, the, the moon snail can draw its foot back inside the shell and cover the edge perfectly with this little piece. Isn't that beautiful? That's just fantastic. So that's a little bit about moon snails for you. Next time you see a, sh a clam shell with a hole in it, you'll know where it came from. And maybe you'll be lucky enough to find one of these beautiful moon snail shells. Um, I have unfortunately quite a few of them, so I'll need to be uh, recycling them or something. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, I have other videos about things I find on the beach. Go to the Salisbury Sunrises channel and please subscribe and click on notifications so you don't miss any of them. I post lots of sunrises and sunsets. As you can see today, it's pretty wild out there. It was a stormy day yesterday and it's cleared up nicely today. There's actually a gorgeous sunrise so you can go to the channel and watch that too. Have a great day.